In this video, I would like to show you how an old airplane gyroscope shows the rotation of the Earth. This is a vintage, air-powered, purely mechanical heading indicator gyroscope, also known as a gyro compass, but I'm going to try to call it a heading indicator gyroscope. I've got it set up so it's pointing at the North Star so that it will measure the full rotational rate of the Earth. And as you can see, I'm starting at about 11 o'clock, 11.01.40. And it's pointing towards the south. Here's the east. And let's play. It's playing at 60 times speed. So each minute only takes a second to watch. Each hour only takes a minute to watch. And this is going to go for about an hour. So it'll only take you about a minute. So there's 15 degrees in an hour. And... 60 degree or minutes in an hour so a third of an hour is 20 minutes and 5 degrees so this is the uh, 20 minute mark the 40 minute mark and the 60 minute mark so I'll let it play and as you know the Sun rises in the east goes up and sets in the west and like this is tracking the Sun you can see it's coming up in the east going over and setting in the west this should be our 40 minute mark here. I'll pause it again when we get there. Okay, right on the money. Let's keep playing. This is the 15 degree mark. This is at 0 degrees, 5, 10, 15. And one hour should take us right here to the 15, but the it's an old worn out gyroscope and so it has a little bit of its own drift which is offsetting this but still it's very close so you can see 1201 40 whatever it almost got us to the 15 degree mark I'm gonna play it and see what it takes to get it to the 15 degree mark so yeah it took an extra five minutes to get to the 15 degree mark but still that's very close for an old gyroscope so it's definitely showing the rotation of the earth to be about 15 degrees an hour and um, if you would like to see how I set this up and how I did tests with a total of three gyroscopes, multiple tests, and they all confirm the same thing, go ahead and watch the video. But if that's too lengthy for you, now you've at least seen the Earth's rotation with a purely mechanical, air-driven gyroscope.